What is up, homies? Welcome back to another reaction series from Heroes Reforged. Today we are starting X-Men, the animated series from 1992, 30th Woo! anniversary this year. I'm very excited about this. If you are watching the YouTube cut down, you might notice that this is one of multiple parts. We have conjoined episodes together. If you want to see the reaction for every single individual episode of this series, jump over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash Heroes Reforged. The links are down in the description below. You'll be able to watch every individual reaction that we're doing. And if you really want to be immersive, go grab yourself a Heroes Reforged shirt. Go grab yourself a Heroes Reforged mug. Drink your whatever you're Drinky drinking. Papa. Get your nice comfy shirt on and your be 90s a part hat. of the team. <laughs> Get your 90s hat. Your 90s hat. Part of the team. Yeah. In terms of my relationship to this series, I don't think I've watched maybe any episode since 1994, 95. I'm sure I have at some point, but I have not done a rewatch of this show in probably almost since the time that it was actually on air on Fox Kids. I started rewatching this in the lockdown, in the pandemic with my girlfriend, got two seasons in, then I was like, hold up, babe. I gotta watch this <laughs> show with my boys. I gotta pivot and start doing some reactions with the fellas. <laughs> this show is getting a continuation produced by Marvel Studios. Is it going to be one of the universes in the multiverse of the MCU? Question mark. We don't know. But like big things are about to come back around with this show. So I thought let's me, Adam, and Augustine watch it from the beginning in the right order because that's the other tricky thing is that when we were watching it as kids, when it was being rerun, we were just sort of like, you know, whatever the whims of the network that was airing it was airing it, that's how we watched it. And we didn't get to watch it in that preferred order that's on the DVDs. It's out of order on Disney+, Plus, but we're going to do it in the right order. I am so excited to get into the show. Augustine, are you a big fan of the show or is this one that didn't grab you when we were kids? Look at that back there. What's that? What's that? <laughs> that over here. Who's this guy over here? I was eight years old when this show premiered and it blew my little eight-year-old mind that this show was coming out. I was just getting into comic books and, and Wolverine was like the eye-catching dude. And just seeing mm. that dude on screen with that scruffy voice and just like being personified was everything that I had hoped for. But I will admit, even as a little eight-year-old, I could tell that the animation was wonky yeah. and the storyline was so confusing. I would jump right. into episodes and I'm just like, we were just fighting Apocalypse, now we're in the savage land and then suddenly we're in mojo the mojo verse and like sauron i remember the big pterodactyl dude was a big deal for a while and i'm just i like, don't remember any of this hey don't, hey, don't spoil it for on, adam bro. it's about to get freaky deaky dude it it's about to weird, get crazy man are you guys Wait. ready to start yeah yeah all right yeah, yeah, so we're yeah. starting with season one episode one night of the sentinels part one of two By the way, we're never skipping this intro, so... It's the best, dude. Oh, those claws got so me good. so hyped as a kid. I loved coming home to watch this show. Oh, oh my, my god. Oh my god, me too. I think it was this, and then right after or right before was Spider-Man. They had that little power block or whatever they called yeah. it. Yeah. Oh my god, I mean, this in conjunction with the X-Men arcade game. Oh my Bro. god, dude. The that was the best. The golden age. Jeez. Current anti-mutant hysteria now growing nationwide. Yeah, we get right into it. Yeah, no straight one up. Saber tooth through a car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I think it's also fun to look at this series, but then also oy, you know, look at what else came out that time, Batman the Animated Series in particular, and just how different mm -hmm. the style is. This is automatically inspired by Terminator 2, like the way the Sentinels yeah, like yeah, yeah, see. Yeah. That was yeah. Terminator 2 influenced everything in the 90s, dude. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's this like Terminator and RoboCop. You believe? Where this are you? I'm here for you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Buy me that. The Sentinels are like the most expensive, ineffective thing the government's yeah, ever done. Right? They're, ever. They're, they're so bad at their job, and they cost yeah. so much money. <laughs> Do you know how much that game costs? Yeah, a quarter. Hey, a quarter of them, ain't you? Fuck you, old man. <laughs> yeah. I'll take these. But just these these six cards. That's all I need. Unless I got someone to play with. Ooh. Come, on, horny. Come on, Gambit. Immediamente horny. <laughs> Announce yourself, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
I like how the, the builders of the Sentinels were like, let's give him a nose and a mouth and lips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah right. and, and leg muscles and pecs. They feel great. I... They feel good. Dude, it's, it's, Bro, it's normal cards, Gambit. Gambit. <laughs> Chill out, homie. Apprehend that's a pretty nice. cool power. I like those sound effects. They're like, ah, yeah. ah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah, Get away from him. I mean it. Firecrackers. Her power. Yes, I never understood her power. It's Fireworks. just like energy bursts, like okay. fireworky yeah. energy bursts from her hands. Dude, we saw Sabretooth yeah. lift and chuck a car. Like, yeah. all bets are off, dude. <laughs> Sleepy town. Oh, Cyclops. nice. Get Cyclops. <laughs> Get down. Here's one from a pro. Attaboy. The king Ooh. of energy blasts. Oh, damn. Ooh. Nice. Come on, I know you're in there. Mm. Go, Web. Fly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zap it. Mall violence. Film at 11. How did, how did he know what she sounds like? Mm -hmm. This is no place for you. Oh. oh. Yeah. Uh, Wolverine, his introduction, he's the coolest motherfucker on the planet. Like, that's yep. so cool. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Don't worry, Petit. Who's the character behind Beast? You'll see. Uh, Morph. Patience, patience. Oh, yeah, it's Morph. It's Morph. It's so funny watching this now because I see those characters and I'm, like, trying to piece together who some of them are because mm -hmm. I've for mm -hmm. forgotten. Yeah. Uh, terrible hiding mm -hmm. spot, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who didn't How did see you not notice sentinel? a giant <laughs> humanoid-looking <laughs> robot standing there? You're, you're going to be a terrible <laughs> X-Man if you, didn't, if you yeah. didn't see this guy. You didn't see that one. And I do think that, especially these first two episodes, Night of the Sentinels, I think a lot of it did inspire the first X-Men movie, whether it was yeah, the was screenwriters say, it seems like who it, yeah. watched this, or like the studio, or whoever, but... I can they replaced Jubilee feel, with Rogue for sure. Yeah, I can yep. sort of feel the uh, yeah. So we get him and we shred him. <laughs> I'd get in there alone. <laughs> Did they base Logan's design on Mel Gibson from Lethal Weapon? <laughs> no, maybe. <laughs> maybe. It looks just like uh, him. Professor Xavier. His animation. The comfy ass. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Professor. I just went to check on Jubilee. She's gone. We've got a job to do first. I go where I want to go. Badass. Yeah, for some reason, he reminds me of like a cross between uh, Martin Riggs from Lethal Weapon mm -hmm. and Jack Nicholson in like The Shining. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know jacket, why. jacket with that like lumberjack jacket. Yeah, I yeah. think that's what it is. He's got those aggro vibes too. He's got those like mm -hmm. brows. You know, I remember when I was 13. Had me a boyfriend. Until <laughs> I kissed him. This is in the that's in the first X-Men movie. It's great. Consider yourself fortunate. I had dandruff. <laughs> <laughs> that's stupid. The trail went cold outside the house. <laughs> Got bit by a dog, too. Okay, Storm. What? <laughs> Do your thing. That's not mm -hmm. that's unlike Wolverine. I feel like Wolverine's a little yeah. better at at at, hunt, yeah. at tracking than that. Yeah. It's not very stealthy, Storm. Mm -hmm. This that's not very stealthy. <laughs> that's not very stealthy. <laughs> Crawl up to the fence. Uh. Jesus. He's breathing. That guy's still breathing. Even though Storm <laughs> electrocuted him <laughs> to death. Hold it. Electronic beams. Beams. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can detect the infrared spectrum. I can smell them. Smell them. Yeah, oh, I knew it. <laughs> but but he lost you can smell light trail outside the house bro mm -hmm. this music sounds like it's from like power rangers yeah it's got like that little yeah, guitar or whatever yeah. that is yeah it looks like clear sailing from here <laughs> oh that's it that's oh, part one. Oh, dang. That was it. That was, dang. okay wow. okay okay got all into it Uh, we, we, uh, we, we, uh, we, we, uh, we, we, we never skip the intro because we're not king monsters. <laughs> <laughs> you think this will ever get jungle. an HD remaster? 
I don't know, man. I don't know. That's a good question. This is man. 480 as hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, back in my day, this is all we had, brother. Yeah. That's all we had, buddy. On the fuzzy <laughs> floor on the TV. <laughs> 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 or TV on the floor, I mean. <laughs> the floor TV. Yeah, the TVs were so big, they built the furniture around the TV. Yeah. Around the TV. <laughs> Washington, D.C. What is that, chalkboard? Newton? Control, yeah, right. Go fucking erase that shit. That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> now, Morph really whiffed that one. Morph is really goofing up over here. Dang, Dang. he went mega blast. Keep them away from the, building. Remember. <laughs> the animators could not track that face. <laughs> <laughs> we must destroy the hard files as well. It is locked. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, Storm, come on. You can help us identify the most dangerous mutants. Henry the... Peter Guyrich is the worst. He's in the Marvel in Marvel Comics, he is the government liaison to the Avengers, and he never let them do nothing, dude. He would be like, you guys can't do you this, do, do that. Nothing. Well, you're building them too slowly, Trask. Aren't I paying you mm, enough? Bolivar Trask. Yeah, that's the Peter Dinklage character. That other guy from X-Men The Last Stand. <laughs> Always in haste, I am never in a hurry. My apologies, Beast. We have no time for poetry. Storm, you don't know how computers work. The files <laughs> are in the computer. Oh, put your hands up. Nah, we're good. <laughs> yeah, this definitely so feels serious, like the resistance, yeah. like, trying to run from uh, Skynet or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. After you, Mona me. <laughs> Come on. This controversial moment. Wait, why controversial? You'll You're see. about to find out, Adam. He's gone. Yep. Can't you tell um, by the listen, somber Morph. music? Um, listen, Morph. If Wolverine was your best friend, you knew his powers. You, you yeah, knew he could been take fine. Robin Williams. Yeah, 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 he yeah. would have been fine, bro. <laughs> yeah. Cyclops, I know how you feel about it, Wolverine, but... <laughs> 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 Let's see how tough you are when you ain't given orders. Cyclops. Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice. For all we know, Morphin Beast may still be alive. Oh, Beast got left behind too? He's gone on me. Get off me. Yeah. Don't this part's touch great. me. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. He had like a Jeep or something in the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Best line, best line, best line. Still Cyclops. I made him a convertible. <laughs> <laughs> It's an iconic line. Oh, the flashback, the flashback. What happened five minutes ago? What happened three? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You know, that character could be played by Lin Manuel Miranda. Morph? Kind of looks like him. Yeah, it kind of looks like him. <laughs> That's actually That'd be great, pretty dude. good. It's adamantium tasting time, boys. Here we go. <laughs> Wolverine, you just got rocked on me. <laughs> what? Damn. Yeah. I like that Sentinels are like a serious threat. Like one Sentinel yeah. could 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 take on a team of X Men mutants, but three. I also like the idea too that like compared to the Avengers, let's say, not that anything's easy for any superhero. Things things are especially tough for X Men. That's why they yeah. train so much, and in, in in many ways tougher than it is to be an Avenger or a member of the right. Fantastic Four or whatever. Let's go. <laughs> X-Men don't cut and run. I go where I want to go. <laughs> or else I'll make you a convertible. <gasps> oh, but see now Rogue saved him. Energy to stop you without hurting you. Damn. Knocked his ass out. Why's your hand green? <laughs> a lot of miscolorization in this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm driving at three in the morning with my full costume on and I'm pissed. <laughs> with my license plate fully showing. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy. I swear it's so I'm dramatic. Squat. This is my prisoner robot. Aww. He's gone. 
they really came hard in this in this first episode in this first adventure yeah. like they were trying yeah. to have like an optimus prime dies moment they wanted yeah. to traumatize some kids why don't you get out of here fur face this here's our table <laughs> that's jack nicholson <laughs> that's jack nicholson come on big man the fuzzball's a mutant that's yeah, also jack nicholson right, yeah right <laughs> The fuzzballs a mutant. But out four eyes. <laughs> but out four eyes. Take them on. Why? Why this choice? <laughs> you interrupted our Jack Nicholson impersonators club meeting, okay? You guys need to leave. I can't believe you did all that work. How would you like to oh locate the Sentinel's home base? What in the hell? When and where? And where? It's the White House. The White House. <laughs> All activities involving your privately run mutant registration program. Well, she's trying. Why is she British? <laughs> <laughs> that voice choice is yeah. very particular. <laughs> <laughs> Surrender, mutant. Okay, at 209. Uh, oh, uh, hey. 90s joke. Well, I like. I like net. Let's go get him. This chicken's going home to lose. Good. Nail his ass. Let's go. Go get Jubilee. Come on, let's go. Also, the, the animation is one especially of, bad this episode. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> listen, they 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 spent the more of the budget, I think, on part one. They really wanted to start yeah. strong, you know. Yeah. <laughs> They're the worst robots. <laughs> that was the most Mark One, Mark Two, Iron Man entrance I've seen. Yeah. Yep. Can't those things watch where they're going? You know, we designed them to be. Fucking dumb, Gyrick. <laughs> They're programmed to be stupid. Yeah, a big bunch of stupid. Efficient as possible. Petite. I do hope that the uh, X Men '97 series that comes out next year or whenever, it's obviously going to be inspired by all the design work and stuff. But I do hope that they yeah, don't yeah. just do a one for one replication of what this looked like. Like I hope it looks, you know, this but new. I don't know if it's possible to replicate zero dollars, Adam. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, oh, no. Damn, bro! Oh snap! Damn! Dude. Did you see that laser coming from the back of his hand and not his paws? Yes, come on! I did. Uh. I did see that. I did see that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> nice. He sounds That's like awesome. Steve-O. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Someone right, watching the, the show on. today is like, you what the hell's a taxi? Every Uber in this show is yellow. Yeah, oh, what's so are, weird? Every Uber yellow. Here we go, man. And Jubilee is now part of the X-Men. All right. Now she's There you have it. Episode two. Do you guys have a favorite X-Men so far? I like yeah. those Jack Nicholson impersonators. Yeah, yeah, that's not an X Men, yeah. Adam. Oh yeah, those are. Hey man. <laughs> See any old relatives in their hairball? <laughs> that sounded racist. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna yeah, chalk that up. You definitely, you definitely know what's happening in that scene. Yeah. Oh, that's not Wolverine. Oh. <laughs> 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 Damn, they made his ass look like the Shredder. What are you waiting for? My day in court, actually. It shall prove my innocence and the righteousness of our cause. He's right, though. Yeah. He's right. This is a pretty heavy storyline for eight-year-olds. Yeah. yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's you know, all, I'm, it's... Meanwhile, I'm over here trying to dissect, where is Magneto supposed to be from? Yeah, yeah. exactly. They must see that we are not a threat to mankind, but are a part of it. Let's go, Love Beast. I love him. <clears throat> He's literally taking one for the team. I have the power to do it. So I'm going to tell you right now, Adam, I do not think that in this universe, Magneto is Eric Lenscher from Europe, a Holocaust survivor. I don't think mm -hmm. that's his backstory. Yeah. Because I mean, especially the sort of World War II and Holocaust Jewish survivor of a Nazi death camp backstory. Yeah, that's, I think that's, that they, that's a pretty they, intense for kids. They sidestepped yeah. it knowing that they could never really do it justice. So I yeah. think straight up, I think Magneto's an American in this show. I Got think. It. 
It looks like it's animated at six frames per second. Yeah. <laughs> we were watching, I was like, is my Disney Plus going slow? Or... Yeah, I was like, is my laptop glitching right now? We became friends. Magnus. Some, a war is never over. His real name is Magnus. Consumed by rage, he tried to destroy them. Yeah. I it's still powerful. Them, I've never seen such a change in a man. It's basically telling you Nazis occupied the country without telling you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Possessing the power of magnetism, he began calling himself Magneto. Magneto. That was a cool transition. I think Magneto is and such a really cool, ripped. cool character. And I know that, maybe you my, know... Maybe my it, favorite Marvel villain. Love yeah, him. Yeah, he's awesome. World War II, the Holocaust, I think that is such an important part of Magneto's backstory. And I know that's going to get harder and harder to do as we slide further into time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I, I think I that, do think that there are ways yeah. to adapt those ideas and concepts. Mm -hmm. I agree. Right. I I also think that if if they really truly wanted to stick with that and have him be a a, a Jewish survivor of the Holocaust, yeah, they, they just you could basically assign him the same power as Wolverine, right? Slow the, aging, slow aging, right? Sure, yeah, Healing yeah. somehow the magnetic fields of Earth keep him young, and then you know, right? And, Some yeah, but then that makes that, shenanigans. that makes the relationship. Uh, between him and Charles more interesting because then Charles becomes a younger and younger and younger man. Yeah. The, more, the further we get from World War II. Your Honor. Yes, Mr. McCoy. Doctor. May I address the court on the subject of mitigating circumstances? Certainly, Mr. McCoy. He's so charming. Eleven mutants disappeared. Taken. Your Honor, what possible relevance could this have to Mr. McCoy's criminal activities? It's also interesting how they have the the prosecution and the judge maybe be yes. people of color. People of color. I yeah. was totally thinking that as yeah. I was watching this. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Like Dan DeVito and Batman Returns. Why is there only someone who brings eggs and tomatoes to a speech? <laughs> a lot of good men were hurt. Is that your idea of helping mankind? Tense. And I, um, I'll be honest, I did not care about this part of the cartoon show when no, I was a kid. I don't remember it was any of this. I don't remember any yeah. of this. No, that's an order. Out of my way. I don't like how Wolverine always has those metal things on the back yeah, of his Yeah, it's hand. weird. It's weird. I don't like it. <laughs> I feel like they're like they're guides for the blades, but yeah, why yeah. would you need that? Yeah. Sabretooth. One Crazy. Beast's bail, then this strange mutant just went berserk. Yeah, it's his brother, probably. Mm hmm What are you doing at my house, bub? I hope he goes in here and just stabs Sabretooth. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he looks like about to do. Oh, my it. God. Back off. Slow and easy. That medical equipment costs money, Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> He's a threat. He was near death. Not near enough. Oh. Damn. Oh. Ruthless. <laughs> This is radical. Oh, this is a great it. move. Yes. Some of this animation is definitely better than the last episode. Yeah. Because again, they knew they're like, hey, Magneto's a big, big bad. We got to make yeah. it look good. <laughs> Magneto smiled a little. Yeah. Come quietly or be taken. And I hope you want to be taken. Mm. Don't challenge Magneto. You flirting with him? <laughs> you don't know what happens. I suppose that a civil war is your answer. Better that we die on our feet than live on our knees. That's a good line. Straight up. That's a good line. Straight up. I had time to prepare. It's also like tell him those who oppose me are traitors Ma to me. Magneto's time. powers are kind of vague too. It's like no he can mercy. He yeah. can, like, put people in force fields and... Right, yeah. right. Because the only person he should technically lift there is Wolverine. Not if I can help it. Yo, this is some this straight up, like... face first into that nuke. Yeah. This is like an 80s action movie, for sure. <laughs> yeah. This is some Skynet MacGyver shit. <laughs> Wolverine is so bad at computers. Yep. He's... <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for the switch. I was wrong. I should have stopped. Him when I had the chance. You should have killed me when you had the you chance, had the chance, Charles! Charles. <laughs> Yo, I'd be down to rewatch that first X-Men movie. Yes. I know what I must do. Go Storm. Oh, Storm. Go Storm. About to go Omega Sick. level. Shutting down three nuclear missiles. Open your mind. We already lost Morph. Absorb what Cerebro knows about the missile's computers. 
Yes. I understand now. <laughs> uh, circuit board? <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. I'm going to assume that, like, Xavier communicated that to her via the computer. Yeah, somehow. <laughs> yes, Charles, I know Kung Fu. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yes, nuke the ocean. <laughs> oh, God. I guess you can fry them. All right, but Namor and as the soon as they hit land at the bottom. <laughs> Namor's gonna be angry. He has no control over anybody on this team. I know, man. No one listens to him. I know, I feel bad. Literally everyone gives him the finger. Must be our company, Cyclops. She's asleep. What I like is it Storm Storm's supposed to be like, I don't know, five foot eleven or something. Like she's a tall lady. Yeah. And Wolverine is five foot three. Yeah. So that would be a really funny, like, yeah. I got her. Why? Yeah, Why thick ass shading. You turned against your own oh Ooh. damn. To be, to continued. be continued. Dang. Deadpool. Oh, Deadpool. Deadpool. Yep. Maverick. Uh, 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 Strife. Omega, Omega Red. Oh, Omega Red. Let me become one with your pain. <sighs> Whoa! What the hell? Whoa! To the core of your rages. Wow! Oh, it's a little demon Wolverine. A little demon Wolverine. Yeah. All right. Which of these creators is a fan of horror? I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Such rage. I do love the compassion of Charles Xavier. He cares. I mean, with those eyebrows, how can you not care? Yep. Yeah. Bro, Saber is so thick. Jesus Christ. Tyler Maine was now a good fit for that character. Fighting for human mutant peace has just become more dangerous. Stuff the philosophy. <laughs> Let's go kick his butt. Uh, Wolverine's like, I don't drink a drink unless I can use my claws to yeah. open it. <laughs> Watch me shotgun a beer, Cyclops. <laughs> Calm down, all of you. After conquering your own rages, Wolverine, you <laughs> more than anyone. Knows. It'll be okay. Calm down. <laughs> come on, come on, little buddy. Come on, little buddy. Hey, buddy. We'll deal with Wolverine's attitude later. So Charles Xavier is supposed to be American in the comics and in this show. And I gotta say... I kind of prefer the Patrick Stewart. To be so merciful. Well, he sounds British to me in this show. I, I, he has a like bit. a mid-Atlantic They all have like accents, accents like, that are like, yeah. are you not, or aren't you American? Yeah. Are you scared to commit or what? Jubilee, you stay here and look after Sabretooth. Jubilee's going to look Jubilee. after Sabretooth? Even though he's shackled, he could still be dangerous. <laughs> so, so you're going to leave her? I always wanted this jet, like the toy version. Oh, yeah. I was always jealous. Awesome. Hey, yo, if they get Michael Giacchino to do the score, then you better put this damn music in there. I would at least settle for the opening Marvel logo having mm, this theme. Yeah. That would get yeah. people hyped, just like the Spider-Man movies. Yo, I don't know if that's a good idea in a chemical plant. <laughs> so he can absorb electricity and- Smilex. Man, he's just flipping, Aye. dipping all these X Men all yeah. over the place. Yeah. And now you flip. All these and now you walls. flip. You flip. <laughs> all these. Oh no! Storm's childhood. She's having a flashback. Oh, no, no, She's claustrophobic. No, 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 no. Oh God! Suffer before you will face me. So jacked. Yeah. What's Magneto's workout routine, bro? Oh no, dude. Uh, it's me you want. So here. Xavier should not have been able to do that because of the helmet. Oh, because the helmet, yeah. The helmet. Uh, in episode four of season one of X Men: The Animated Series, Charles Xavier clearly affects Magneto while he's wearing his helmet. Are we to believe that this is some sort of a super new ability that Charles is displaying, or is the oh, helmet defective? My God. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Rogue's over here like, oh, yeah, like yeah. crazy ass poses, looking like that dude from RoboCop. Help me! <laughs> Help me! Oh no. It's better than not breathing. Wait, how is it? Make a girl feel well. How is she not stealing his powers? How is yeah, she right? Stealing his powers. Is she Do about to? to? Maybe because he has none? Awake? I don't know. I just hope. Oh, ah, she, oh, oh there yeah. it is. Cool. Uh, that's cool. 
my question is he can see while the blasts are coming out of his eyes then right yeah like yes is this your answer this horror after all the suffering we both that was it's cool. like debris doesn't fall on him that's cool yeah like straight up like the, fool. The, okay see hector another inconsistency please <laughs> can you yes. document this uh, can you can it? clearly see in episode four of the first season Oh yeah, they, they they are laying it on very thick. Yep. Yeah. Without mm -hmm. actually saying it. What about the plant personnel? They all hightailed it. I mean, you would know, Charles. You just have to check with your mind. Uh, you literally just have to think, Charles. Think, Mark. Think. As president, I intend to relocate every mutant in this nation to internment camps. Dang, dude. Just let me get my claws on that senator's throat. What's Sabretooth's workout? Because this fool has a 16 pack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Just all the way down. Yep, oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even realize it until right now. You really think a few mealy mouthed words from that old weakling could change me? I've been faking it. I've been faking it. This guy's got Macho Man Randy Savage energy. Yeah. Never should have let me live. Blast him. She was here, so I could take care of his carcass too. Yeah, for what you wish for. Be careful yep. what you ask for. No, oh, <laughs> damn! Let the girl go. Whatever you say, pal. Chuck her across the room. The buff characters in the show yeah. are always crouching. They're always Yeah, right. Alright, you egg sucking piece of gutter trash. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sucking piece of gutter trash. God damn, this Wolverine is so dope. <laughs> you love you love a small guy with a with a chip on his shoulder. You yeah. love it. You love to see it. You love to see it. <laughs> now I get why people say Tom Hardy for Wolverine. Now I get it. Sure. It's good to be home again. Uh, just relaxing in my super tight <laughs> spandex. <laughs> so tight it's, it's 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 suffocating my four pack. We'll have to do it again sometime. Hi. I'm, uh, oh. I'm in love with Gene. I'm in love with Gene. <laughs> I love Gene Gray. And in this business, Bob, second best don't cut it. And I think Sabretooth in the comics was introduced as like an Iron Fist villain. It's like his own oh, really? separate thing. And then they paired him up with Wolverine and it's perfect. You're out of line, Professor. All I <laughs> ah. You see that? Shit! No. Last. Come on, Jubilee. Nice. There you go. There you go. There you go. Through the wall. Dang. <laughs> He's out there, scheming, planning. Yep. Ah, uh, brotherhood. Mutants will come to me by the. Thousands. You will form a brotherhood. A brotherhood of mutants. <laughs> he straight up went. <laughs> Lateral, just like, all right well we did it we did Listen. part one of x-men season one from 1992 adam what's your overall take brother the first four episodes uh, you know it's it's very cheesy because obviously it's 1992 and like you said in one of the previous videos the x-men only had about 30 years of comic book history up to this point so a lot of room to kind of play with that storyline but i think it is as cheesy as i kind of would have expected it to be 30 years later but it's still very enjoyable and a lot of that is because of the voice actors and some of the writing some of the lines that the characters say are very yeah. very fun so i i'm actually really enjoying it if i realized anything in this e episode in particular is wolverine's character is going to be difficult to nail in live action because he's not the standard stereotypical hero right and also if he doesn't fight like john wick in in these marvel movies Right, I don't know if right. I don't know if it's gonna work because I I get it. I, in this show I feel his rage I feel his power but they never let him use his claws and that's yes. the unfortunate thing that like you couldn't show that in a cartoon as kids but if you read the comic books he's always slicing dudes arms off and just like flaying fools he's just flaying dudes left and right mm -hmm. and you can't show that here so it's gonna be weird to see what they actually do with a character who's 
<laughs> literally has knives for hands. Yeah. And that's what he does. Yeah. In in that conversation, like, what do you guys think they need to nail? You know, Augustine, you mentioned the action and maybe trying to push that PG-13 level of violence. You know, we don't want to just do the Samurai Jack trick of like, oh, he's going to go up against robots. Every movie he'll go up against robots so he can really cut loose. It's like, no, maybe Wolverine can go up against Hulk in his first appearance and really cut into him because Hulk can bounce back. Hulk will heal. We, we, know, we know this about Hulk, but what else do you guys think that like from these first four episodes with the X-Men, but Wolverine in particular, like what do you want to see in the MCU live action version of the character? That's a good question. I mean, I think a, a kind of a big thing is some of the MCU heroes in their own regard are not necessarily mutant mutants, but they have mutant type of abilities. So I'm curious to see how they really differentiate X-Men mutants, some characters who might have special abilities like Captain C. Rogers, who's not necessarily a mutant, mm -hmm. but has power enhancements. Mm -hmm. And then there's also characters like Wanda, who kind of tiptoes is like is a little bit in that gray area of not necessarily mutant, but because of experimentation and because of things like that, she is yeah. mutant ish. So I, I think that Wanda yeah. in particular, I think that they will actually at one point reveal she's a mutant because they yeah. hinted at it in WandaVision with her flashback when she was a little girl, still able to to like prevent that bomb from going off yeah. in their apartment for days, you know, that Agatha was like, interesting, interesting, interesting. You were able to do this without, <laughs> you know, without your powers that you get later as an adult. So maybe they'll right. say that experimentation unlocked those abilities, which may be mm -hmm. a, a route that they go with some of these characters. In terms of the, the Hugh Jackman movies, they've mostly nailed Wolverine's powers. And I feel mm -hmm. like if they go too different with it, it will be kind of like an arcade game or like a cartoon or very crazy. And I'm like, I don't want to see that necessarily either. I want right. it to still feel like it can yeah. fit with the other other MCU characters, other Marvel characters in that world. I feel like the just the overall look of these characters is so iconic and such a part of their characters. I'm interested to see how they're going to balance it because I, I don't know Kevin Feige. But I feel like Kevin Feige knows the importance of knows the us. iconic looks of these characters with Come the yellow on. and the blue thing. And like, I, I get what they tried to do in the previous X Men movies, which is like make it real cool, leathery, kind of, <laughs> you know, yeah. armory kind of things. But I know there's some kind of a balance between that classic armor. I think X Men First Class kind of got it fair, uh, you know, like a pretty decent closer yeah halfway there listen you're right <clears throat> augustine i think that head of visual development at marvel studios ryan minerding yeah. i already i know for a fact massive I feel fan it of x-men the animated I, series no dude, way I, he's not i feel it in my soul that this dude that this team has i've already done concept art of the x-men yeah. and it's like if you look at like the ant-man costume from Kevin the comics, gonna be like okay so we're gonna start working on x-men he's gonna be like i got a whole book for you got baby it. let's go <laughs> got it here's the whole book <laughs> bing bang boom just like, I, look at look at how they translated the previous looks you know i i, I like to look at ant-man in it as an example because it's one yeah. of my favorite suits in the mcu and it still feels like an Ant-Man design with the important motifs and the important elements of that design. But they translated it for the first movie to have that biker look and then they streamlined it. And I just love that helmet and everything looks so great. And I'm like, you know that they've already done Wolverine with some kind of a metal shoulder pad with, you know, with the mask. And it, it's mm -hmm. going to look choice dude it's gonna look clean <laughs> yeah. baby it's gonna yeah. look so 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 good i agree and i think that's what i'm looking forward to as well because i do think that i was really excited where at the end i think it was of the wolverine where they had the blue and yellow suit in a case i was like right. yeah, yeah exactly. let's just embrace yeah. this and they never did it but yeah i think that's how you definitely separate your x-men from the previous x-men is to just embrace these uniforms and you know augustine you were saying some of the previous movies have attempted it first class i think uh i think it was either dark dark phoenix or one of them mm -hmm. try to give them more comic book ish type of suits but i feel like the mcu could really make it work and i think also because of the mcu we're a lot more open to those ideas and concepts like i think if yes. we hadn't had those movies even on even on the dc front you know like the bat suit that ben affleck wears it is so comic book Yep. you know has so much of that comic book aesthetic with the black and the gray and i think audiences nowadays are way more open to that whereas i think yep. 20 some odd years ago if you would have put a character in a black and gray suit they would have been like oh this is just adam west from the 60s yep but now right, we've right. kind of come come full circle we and the technology yeah. has also changed so much with costume design that you can make stuff 
so so pinpoint specific and accurate that i think that's what's exciting is like what's what's the new stuff going to look like in the future uh i'm looking forward to the rest of this uh augustine just like from what you vaguely remember like it's going to get more bonkers right like this show is going to get crazier dude it gets crazy i remember being <laughs> so when cable comes in and then they start to do the whole future things and just like it's wild man it's absolutely yeah. wild but i'm here for it yeah i cannot wait it's gonna be a lot of fun but if you're watching the youtube cut down make sure you head over to patreon.com slash heroes reforge links are down in the description you can see the uncut reaction for every single episode instead of this cut down where we kind of compile multiple episodes together definitely check out the uncuts for every single one of them we'll be doing that for the entire first season if you enjoy the reaction consider subscribing and we'll see you guys in the next video bye